Welcome to your virtual graduation ceremony. We are now live on YouTube and your ceremony will now begin. Welcome everyone. My name is Professor Geraint Rees and I'm Dean of the Faculty of Life Sciences. It's my honour and privilege to welcome you to UCL's 2021 virtual graduation ceremony. I'm really pleased to see so many graduates from the Division of Biosciences here with us today and I know we have many friends and family members watching us as well. We hope you're as proud as we are of this group and what they've achieved. Obviously, we wish we could have been celebrating in different circumstances this summer, uh, but until we can celebrate safely together, I'm delighted we're able to come together to do so virtually today. We'll try our very best to replicate the experience you would have had this summer. Uh, we'll be sharing shortly a short video from our president and provost. Uh, you'll hear speeches from myself, uh, Professor Andrew Pomionkowski, who is director of the Division of Biosciences, and you'll also hear from an alumnus about what life is like after you finish your degree at UCL. But first, a little housekeeping. I'm sure many of us are overly familiar now with virtual meetings, but please do feel free to share as many messages of congratulations as you want in the chat function at the bottom of your screen. Otherwise, we'd be really grateful if you would stay muted unless uh, we call upon you to unmute. Uh, graduates, as uh, we said at the start, we'll be announcing names in groups. Um, once your name has been announced by me, um, uh, we really encourage you to turn your camera on. And at the end of each group, groups will be about 10 or 20, uh, we'll offer you our congratulations uh, and then ask you to turn your cameras off before we move to the next group. First, I want to introduce you to our virtual platform party that joins us today to celebrate with you and who you can see on your screens. Uh, colleagues, as I introduce you, please do unmute yourselves and say hello to our audience. Uh, first on my screen, Richard, please. Welcome to this graduation and congratulations on getting this far. Well done. Thank you. Next is Catherine. Uh, hello and congratulations, everybody. Shnezhna. Um, Hello. Uh, great congratulations to all of you. Stephanie. Congratulations on behalf of NPP. Margaret. Welcome and congratulations, everybody. Amanda. Congratulations from me too. It's been lovely working with you over the last three and four years. Elizabeth. Many congratulations on your achievements and I hope you enjoy your graduation day and the rest of what's in store for you as you walk into the world. Sonia. Hello, everyone. Congratulations. Sarah. Congratulations, everyone. Stephen. 
Hello, everybody. It's been a year like no other, and congratulations to you all on your resilience and for getting through everything. Congratulations from me. Pam. Well done, everyone. Uh, a special shout out for the biomeds, but all of biosciences. Andrea. Well done, everybody, on your stellar success in a difficult year and looking forward to seeing what you do next. Congratulations. Pom. Um, welcome, everybody, and congratulations from me, too. Kyla. Kyla, you're on mute. Welcome, everybody. I'm sorry. Welcome to everyone, and congratulations on your graduating and uh, look forward to seeing you at some stage later. Rob. Massive congratulations to the students and welcome to the students and their families that are right here. Uh, I think everybody can be very proud of this very diverse group of uh, magnificent students that are graduating today. Uh, Ruth, I can see you're on the platform party too. Do you want to say hello? Oh, hello, everybody. Really lovely to be here and to be welcoming you to this lovely graduation ceremony. And very many congratulations. And last but not least, I can see Talvinda, you're here too. Welcome to all and congratulations to all of you. It's been a difficult year, but well done, everybody. Fantastic. Now, I hope, colleagues, I've introduced you all. If I have omitted uh, to introduce any one of you, now is the time to say. In which case, I now declare this ceremony open. Uh, and we'll start by hearing from the Provost. Hi everyone, I'm Michael Spence, President and Provost of UCL. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all today to your virtual graduation ceremony. And I'd like to offer my wholehearted congratulations to you as you graduate from UCL and move forward to the next stage of your lives. Of course, I speak to many of you dispersed across the world today. We can agree that this situation isn't and hasn't been ideal, and we'd prefer to celebrate in person, but that doesn't diminish your remarkable achievements in any way. The whole UCL community is behind you, and we're in awe of the resilience that you've shown in the face of the challenges posed by the pandemic. Each of you has shown what you can achieve, even under the most trying circumstances. This year marks the 195th anniversary of UCL's founding, we continue to base our principles and beliefs on those of Jeremy Bentham, a commitment to social justice and the availability of education to all. At UCL, we've always believed in changing the world for the better. And as graduates, you'll carry that goal forward. You're a part of UCL's history, but just as importantly of its future too, this is not the end of your UCL journey. You're joining an impressive global alumni community of over 300,000 graduates who support and celebrate each other and who go on to achieve remarkable things around the world. UCL and the alumni community is here for you, not only as you take the next step in your career journey, but for life. So thank you, thank you and congratulations. I look forward to a time when we'll be able to come together in person to further celebrate your amazing achievements. Thank you, Provost. I'm now delighted to present our graduands. And just a reminder, as I read out your name, please feel free uh, to turn your camera on uh, so we can celebrate in the group in which I announce you. I have pleasure in presenting to you these candidates who've been awarded a certificate of higher education, Bachelor of Science, Master in Science, or a Master of Science. Uh, we start with the following candidate who's been awarded a certificate of higher education in biomedical sciences. Saina Tagiva. Next, we proceed with the Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Georgia Michelle Antonio. Andrew Brodsky. Elizabeth Lee Cow. Maria Carrera. Sharon Joshua Chantrakumaran. Maria Gerogianni. Charlotte Getz Brzezinski. Timothy Benjamin Harper. 
Cecilia Felicitas Kunz. Jennifer He Yang Yao. Nadia Laksam Limbu. Pedro Kevin Lovett Garcia. Kuiao Yang Ma. Olivia Grace Yuki Miller. Miller. NG Ng. Kayan Jayamin Patel. Emily Hannah Thandiwe Print. Feng Shei. And Devika Gabriella Singh. That's the end of our first group. And so I'd like to pause there and ask all my platform colleagues to now unmute themselves and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Now, graduands who've been announced, please turn your cameras off. And just to remind you in the next group, you're very welcome to turn your camera on when I announce your name um, and keep that on until the end of your group when we'll congratulate you. So we'll continue on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry. Costas Stiglioratis. Sophie Rebecca Taylor. Lauren Elise Wallace. Zishi Wang. Lewis Watkins. Yvonne Yawen Ji. Next, we have the Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry with a year in industry. Andre Badalian. Shona Helen Ellison. Jacopo Gabrielli. Karen Singh Unjan. And Rachel Xiao Yun Tan. Next, we have the Bachelor of Science in Biodiversity and Conservation. Chloe Georgina Bentz. And Svetoslav Angelov Georgiev. Lucy Jennifer Somek. Next, we have the Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences. Lucy Emma Bird. Rosanna Beth Corby. And Maximilian Sachin Kalia. Next, we have the Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Cell Biology. Ibrahim Tarek Ibrahim Abukathia. And Liam Rodney Garrett. Hannah Grace Scott. And last in this group, Bruce Zhang. So I would like to pause there and ask my colleagues on the platform to unmute and give a round of applause to these esteemed graduates. Congratulations. 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 Well done. I think we're getting used to it now. So if my uh, colleagues could all turn their cameras off, we start again on the next group and we continue on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Sciences. Carmen Antez de las Eras. Zoe Attal. Elliot Claudio Avellano Khan. Alice Elizabeth Rose Baker. Amanda Rukchanok Brick. Adela Rosa Bohata. 
Selin Kankat. Natasha Cavell. Jia Chi Chong. Teresa de Souza Cotino Alvim de la Rue. Sneha Desai. Amy Ayaka Dixon. Megan Rose Dobbins. Juan Duan. Francesca Angelique Aquino Edulac. Aglaia Frechero. Chingao. Frajiska Guru. And last in this group, Amelia Elizabeth Haas Dobson. So once again, I'd like to pause there and ask my colleagues on the platform to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Well done. well done, everyone. Camera's off and we continue on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Sciences. Emmanuel Eve Halford. Manasi Pabankuma Hansoj. Antoine Sasha Francois Heritier. Bavika Hotchandani. Jonida Kokichi. Natasha Ku Jiamin. Ji Ling Lam. Thais Lawrence Justine Marie Lestra. Jessica Hon Lai Lo. Ji Wing Karina Lo. Carl William Lottig. Si Xiao Lu. Zie Lu. Danai Ekaterina Marcusi. Aisha Memo. Kyung In Min. Kai Yi Mok. Yvonne Ung. Xiao Chi Ung. And last in this group, Darcy Elizabeth Norgate. So once again, platform colleagues, I'd like to pause there and ask you to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Very well done. Well done Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Camera's off everyone and we continue on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Sciences. Izemekin Ozavki. Seo Yon Park. Nofara Adi Binti Sankola. Athena Servi. Angus William Smith. Shun Wing Jamie So. Krupa Hitendri Nanji Solanki. Ching Lam Tam. Joss Fei Tan. Joel Fe Feveraja. Lok Dong Oriel Zhao. Anna Zoe Seliudis Garmendia. Eleanor van der Put. Sophia Susanna Varga. 
Sara Vaheli. Chi Wang. Yuhan Yu. Tingfeng Zhang. Yinghao Zhang. And last in this group, August Sikeviusut. So once again, lovely to see you. I'd like to pause there and ask my platform colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause to these esteemed graduates. Very well done. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We continue on, if camera's off please, with the following candidates who've been awarded a Bachelor of Science in Biotechnology. Ana Maria Dopico Fernandez. Xiao Yim Yeo. Ming Kei Li. Wan Yong Derek Sim. Next, the Bachelor of Science in Genetics, Yulia Chiovato de Senya. Ankui Fan. Yijun Han. Rafaela Santosa. Anis Fatini Binti Shamsho Bahrain. Next, the Bachelor of Science in Human Genetics, Ria Vijay Patel. Srijan Bandiopadhyay. Si Kitjaki Kwok. Hu Ying Nicole Wong. And next we have the Bachelor of Science in Human Sciences, Amy Lauren Dunford. Ayoana Ene. Eileen Vanessa Hahn. Noemi Alexandra Hardy. Lois Ann Harvey Pescott. Anna Sophie Maria Victoria Hasselon. And last in this group, Matthew Hazel. So once again, I'm going to pause there and ask my platform colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Congratulations. Thank you, fantastic. Well done. Well done. Fantastic. Thank you, everyone. Camera's off. I think we've got the drill now and uh, we're going well. So we continue on with the following candidates who have been awarded a Bachelor of Science in Human Sciences. Ella Hodman. Alexandra Rose Kerush Jarrett. Yashana Ashley Lingam. Caroline Meng. Felix Samuel Charles Mercier. Gabriela Alexandrova Mihova. Manasvini Moni. Rebecca Grace Page. Maxine Pepper. Thomas Robert William Petty. Chaninan Santhud Kijkam. Daniel Robert Eric Smallwood. And Arabella Talbot. Now the Bachelor of Science in Molecular Biology, first is Sasha Korogodsky. Zohar Raz Menzelevsky Steinberg. Chishen Cedric Tan. and Lillian Wu. Next, the Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience, Maliha Nimov Ahmed. Wei Yu Chan. 
And last in this group, Osteja Tamulevichut. Now your cameras are on, I'd like to pause there and ask my platform colleagues to unmute themselves and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Very well done. Great to everyone. Fantastic. Well done. Well done. Well done. Camera is off, thank you. And we continue on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience. Maria Eleni Elefteriou. Hania Esmail Beiki. Jana Hajkova. Anastasia Ilina. Kaglakea. Alkistis Panagiotto Madrugalu Foti. Amy Murray. Charlotte Phillips. Rachel Bryn Sava. Maria Eva Svetlinska. Stiliani Eleni Santila. Zhang Yi Zhu. Now we move to the Bachelor of Science in Pharmacology. Xin Yi Chen. Gune Karimova. Paticha Kititi. Kenneth Wing Ngai Law. Nicole Rui Wen Wu. And Ching Xuan Stephanie Gan. Song Hyon Park. And last in this group, Harry Robert Gregory Smith. Lovely to see you all. So I'd like to pause there and ask my platform colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Congratulations. Well done and well done on the champagne. Um, Congratulations to all. We continue on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Bachelor of Science in Pharmacology. Eleanor Emma Clara Stoltz. Anson Tang. Keshav Upal. Huan Wang. Xinyu Zhu. Next, the Bachelor of Science in Physiology, Sara Perelmuta. And next, the Bachelor of Science in Zoology, Bilga Bazdag, Rory Troy Downer. And last in this un uh, undergraduate Bachelor of Science group, Moses Frederick G. So I would like to pause there and ask my platform colleagues to unmute themselves and give another round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Very well done. Congratulations. Now, camera's off, thank you. We continue on with our postgraduate candidates. The following candidates have been awarded a Master of Science in Neuroscience. Alicia Caitlin Carrington. Ava Janakui. Hannah Linnea Moody. And Emily Megan Pay. Next, the Master of Science in Biochemistry, Andra Bujan. Joshua Chandanani. Kieran Andrew Elliott. Art Hoti, Ryan James Lawrence, Kushbu Matwani, and Cameron Ross McClement. 
Cameron was the last in that group, so I would like to pause there and ask my colleagues on the platform to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Very well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Camera's off and we continue on with our postgraduate candidates. The following candidates have been awarded a Master of Science in Biochemistry. Konstantin Pildish. Zofia Karolina Piska. Violetta Quintana Aguilar. Eva Rogelj. Wing Yang Siu. Joshin Tian. Katie Louise Tucker. Diana Veleva. Samantha Michelle Woolworth. Zichian Shu. And Chin Yang. Next, the Master of Science in Biodiversity and Conservation, the International Program, David Yan Yang Shen. Next, the Master in Science in Biological Sciences, Roxanne Sophie Perbonia. Next, the International Program for the Master in Science in Biological Sciences, Christian Alexander Toombs. Next, the Master in Sciences in Biological Sciences Cell Biology, Olivia Nisha Maud Hill. Next, the International Program for the Master in Science in Biological Sciences at Victoria Borislavova Tristova. Next, the Master in Sciences in Biological Sciences Computational Biology, Lorenzo Alonso Racine, and Dominic Martin McZick. Next, the Master of Science in Cell Biology, Yu Wei Cheng. And last in this group, Abida Kanon. So I would like to pause there, ask my platform colleagues to unmute and give another round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well Continue on with our postgraduate candidates. Uh, and these candidates have been awarded a Master of Science in Cell Biology. Zylvia Kirali. Yulia Olivares Abril. Ruben Vala Karl Pohl. Theo John Maximilian Timabaka. and Shi Zhuang Weng. Next, the Master of Science in Human Genetics. Lucy Emily Gourmet. And Bianca Alexia Manu. Next, the Master of Science in Human Sciences and Evolution. Roxana Oliwa Malinowska. Next, the Master of Science in Neuroscience, Marie Laurie Girardengo. Eleanor Francis Jackson. Shivani Koshla. Prinaben Narendra Kumar Mistry. Joan Okomen Onokwa. Sam Pink. Jade Ruth Surfety. Chelsea Ann Shepherd. Matthias Faradi. Yutong Wan. And last in this group, the Master of Science in Pharmacology, Elisa Kira Rumbos Surana. 
So with that group, that concludes all of our candidates. But before our candidates in that group go, I would ask the virtual platform party all again unmute themselves and give a round of applause to all of our esteemed graduates. Congratulations. Fantastic. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Everyone. <laughs> Cameras off and unmute every uh, uh, unmute everyone. Mute everyone. <laughs> uh, congratulations to all. Um, I'm now delighted. Uh, to invite my colleague, Professor Andrew Pomiankowski, who's the Director of the Division of Biosciences, uh, to say a few words on behalf of the division. Pom, over to you. Hello. Um, thank you, Geraint. Um, I'm always amazed at your incredible ability to pronounce people's names, like mine. Um, uh, it's a huge honour to be here today to celebrate your graduation. Um, I didn't realise just how many degrees we, we offer. Um, this is a great opportunity to celebrate your achievements after being at UCL for many years. Um, the last two have been very strange and difficult, so fantastic that you've managed to get through. So welcome also to friends and family. We saw a few popping up every now and again. Um, you're welcome here as well. Um, this is my um, only my second graduation event as the Director of Biosciences. Um, and it's fun to be wearing, uh, well, here's my funny hat. And uh, my, uh, they actually sent me the wrong robe and the wrong hat. But anyway, who cares? Um, you've been at UCL. UCL is a leading university, a top 10 international university. And your degree will really help you in your future, your career and your current, uh, the next destination that you're going to. Uh, my hope is that we have passed on to you knowledge and understanding that will help you in the next stage of your lives and building your careers. Uh, I hope we've stirred your curiosity. Often scientific knowledge is portrayed as solid, well-formed, evidence-based, critically evaluated. It is all of that, but it's also tentative, half-baked, and, and we are all kind of groping towards explanations. Um, so science is always crying out for new thinking, new ways of gathering, gathering information, of evaluating data and ideas. And I hope we've instilled that in you. And I think the pandemic has really brought this to the fore because it's almost, it is really mind blowing to think that RNA vaccines were a little more than a pipe dream 18 months ago. Um, and now they're just part of normal life. Uh, nobody at the time was certain that they would work. And, and these, these vaccines came out of basically fundamental scientific knowledge um, gained in the biological sciences and not directed towards some specific, specific aim, end. Um, we've been able to track the mutational variants of uh, COVID from alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and who knows what is else, else is around the corner and place them in an evolutionary framework, a phylogenetic framework. And again, this has all been drawn from basic fundamental research, um, much of it going on at this university. Alongside successes, there are many unknowns. We, we can just about predict uh, the influenza variants that are gonna hit us in the winter. I've had my vaccine, um, but my wife, who's a doctor, assures me that it's probably, they've probably got it wrong this year. Um, so these things are, are no, never that easy. Um, what about COVID? What's going to happen to COVID? Uh, we really don't have a clue, to be honest. Uh, we have beautiful theory developed by my colleagues in evolutionary biology about the, the trade offs between. Um, transmission and um, the virulence of these, of these viruses, but it, it's far too um, general to be make really specific predictions. And where did the virus come from? Um, and what can, what can we do in the environment to make our lives safer that these zoonotic diseases don't jump so often? Um, these are all real unknowns. Science will not stand still, it can't stand still, because every step forward leads on to further questions. 
So my hope is that we've left you with this inquiring, an inquiring mind with knowledge and with, with a, a realization that there's a lot more that we, we should do, that you should do. Um, well done to you all for your efforts over the last th three or four years. Um, I don't know where you're going, onwards maybe to some consultancy, industry, maybe even a PhD. I have to say when I was in your, at your stage, I had a clue what I was really doing and I took a gap year. <laughs> I'd already had a gap year, I thought I'd have another one. Um, you leave us with a great education, more knowledge, more understanding, and I hope a real bunch of great friends who you'll take through your life. Uh, we want to see you back again, letting us know of your successes and where you're going in the future. So best wishes to all of you and congratulations. And now back to the Dean for the faculty address. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Tom. So I want to extend my warmest congratulations, uh, not just on behalf of the division, but the entire faculty on getting your degree. And I want to extend those congratulations to the teachers, friends and family who've helped you reach your goals. Our faculty brings together world-leading expertise, some of which you've heard about in teaching, research and enterprise across a really incredibly broad range of topics from the environment and biodiversity through genes, molecular cell biology, neural circuits, to physiology, pharmacology, many other key areas of the life sciences. Understanding life in all its diversity, animals, plants, and humans, is fundamental, not only to understanding our world, but to making positive change in so many of the major changes that face our planet. And Pom just mentioned uh, the most obvious uh, challenge facing our planet, the pandemic from which we've just emerged, thanks to many, many people, but also to that fundamental research in the life sciences. Our faculty is also a community. It's a diverse, tolerant and outward looking community drawn from across the world. And you should be incredibly proud that you've played an important role in the continuing development and evolution of the faculty during your time at UCL. Today is a really happy day when we celebrate your graduation. It's not the usual face-to-face -face experience I think we all wanted, but as you know, in the current situation, the safest way has been to celebrate your success with you online. We realise you've had an extremely unusual end to your time at university, but we're full of admiration at how you have dealt with all of these unique challenges uh, together with your family, and those who support you in your life and your teachers. And all of us here on the virtual platform are really delighted, as I hope you've seen, to share this occasion with you. The skills and determination that got you to this point will serve you well for the future, whether you take a gap year or not, as Bon was suggesting, and will help you make a difference in this challenging world that we live in. Now, education is a transformative experience, I think, for all of us. And we've all experienced the power of education to change our lives. You're just starting out, many of you, on your careers. But when you're established, I think you'll look back on your career, not just as a sequence of jobs with particular titles, but actually as a rich tapestry of people who have influenced or changed your lives, touched you through the education and training that you've received. And I suspect that already you'll pick out particular teachers and educators who've made an impact on your life. And in future years, that impact will endure. That is as it should be. For a faculty like ours and a university like ours is at its heart a community. A community of like-minded individuals dedicated to the generation and dissemination of human knowledge and understanding. You are part of that community and we are very proud to have participated in your development. So we hope you'll reflect on your time here with UCL with fondness and pride. Please stay in touch with us after graduating, at use our alumni network, uh, and through our electronic newsletter, Lifetimes, and regular social events and invited speakers, we would hope to build a relationship with you that will help make our faculty even better than it is. So we hope that as alumni, you'll be some of our proudest ambassadors, our most passionate advocates, and our most generous supporters in the years ahead. But for now, please enjoy 
today's celebration of your hard work and achievement. And we look forward to continuing our relationship with you in the future. Thank you. So now, as Dean of Faculty, I now have the pleasure of formally conferring your degrees. In a moment, we're going to hear from one of our alumni members. Arjun Kandola is an investment analyst at Force Over Mass Capital. That's an early stage technology venture capital fund based in London. He specializes in deep tech and invests in startups that operate in industries like blockchain, AI, and big data. Prior to Force Over Mass, Arjun worked briefly in healthcare venture capital and completed an MSci biochemistry degree at UCL, graduating in 2019. We'll now hear from Arjun. Hi, my name is Arjun Kandola. I'm an investment analyst at Force Over Mass, an early stage technology venture capital fund based in London. I studied biochemistry within the Faculty of Life Sciences between 2015 and 2019. First of all, I'd like to offer a huge congratulations and express my sincere admiration to all of you here today. It's been an exceptionally difficult year and you've done fantastically well to graduate under such challenging circumstances. I really enjoyed my time within the Faculty of Life Sciences. Studying biochemistry provided me with the ability to digest lots of information and understand complex concepts in a very short period of time, something which has no doubt helped me succeed in my current role. In a more broad sense, the UCL brand name has opened numerous doors for me throughout my professional career and it will do so for you as well. Employers and academic institutions alike in all geographies recognize the commitment that a UCL degree requires, and you should have faith that it will take you far, regardless of the route that you may take. Furthermore, the work ethic that many of you will have obtained by virtue of the challenging nature of your degrees will only benefit you looking forward. Do not underestimate the resilience and tenacity that your time at UCL will have bestowed upon you. I have three short pieces of advice for all of you today. First would be to start networking. As you progress throughout your careers, the importance of networking will only become more apparent to you. And as a result, I urge you to start sooner rather than later, whether it be with potential PhD supervisors or future employers. Personally, I reached out to a lot of UCL graduates on LinkedIn. You'd be very surprised by how many of them are willing to help you. In the same vein, please pay it forward. If someone asks for your guidance in the near future, I strongly urge you to give it to them, as you never know when you may need theirs. The second piece of advice is to really embrace change. The next two to three years of your lives are going to be more different than you can imagine. Some of you may enter the workforce, some of you may undertake further study, and some of you may still be working out your next move. In any case, things are going to be different. And in my view, your ability to succeed in this environment is really a function of your ability to handle change and by extension, your adaptability. The third piece of advice is to simply stay in touch with one another. Many of you will have built some fantastic friendships and colleagues during your time at UCL, and I strongly urge you all to make a concerted effort to stay in contact as it's all too easy to lose touch. To conclude, you have done fantastically well to get here so far, and we, as the wider UCR network, look forward to everything that you will achieve. Good luck to you all. Thank you, Arjun, some great advice there. And sadly, we are nearly at the close of our ceremony, but before we close our ceremony, I can't resist asking my platform colleagues to have one final round of applause to all of you our graduates. Congratulations. Congratulations, Congratulations everyone. Well done. Well done. Well done. Very well done, everyone. So, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, and most importantly, our graduates, that concludes our virtual graduation ceremony. I offer you my wholehearted congratulations and my very best wishes on behalf of all of us for the future. Thank you.